You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Breaking Bad. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Breaking Bad news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Breaking Bad! Yay! 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 Yeah. We're back! It's back. Oh my Double gosh. Very long hiatus. Double yay. We are back. This is season four, four yes. episode one of breaking bad the box cutter episode yes. for yes. july 18th and the reason we are going up on july 19th was because there was this little thing called carmageddon that was supposed to come get us did it did it get anyone it i was didn't. hunkered down in a bunker it, so I, I had everything with your canned soup i yeah, hid in exactly. miami there you go it was non-existent it didn't it, happen it, it right no it didn't really happen. it never happened yeah. just like the patriots losing the super yeah, it bowl it never happened bunch of hype <laughs> so uh, unlike the show which was hyped very well and delivered. And delivered, right? Carmageddon did not deliver. Carmageddon yeah. did not deliver. So here we are on Monday. From this moment forward, we'll be here Sunday nights, five mo- five minutes after the no live show, show goes off the air. So you can get your points in and feel you're connected right away because after I watched this, I was screaming, why aren't we doing this right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it did It did give me a second chance to watch it again today. I know, yeah. which was so much <laughs> fun. Yeah. I yeah. loved seeing it again. Yeah, so I think, um, I think I know I'm super excited. I got into uh, Breaking Bad last summer. My dad actually told Kevin, you yeah. know what show you got to watch, Kevin? You got to watch Breaking Bad. He's a very good show. <laughs> so then Kevin comes to me. He's like, hey, honey, I think we should get into Breaking Bad. Your dad said it was great. I'm like, I'm not going to watch a show my dad watches. <laughs> like, my dad watches weird shows. I don't know. And so we got into it. And by the way... The birth of AfterBuzz was due to Breaking Bad. There you go. So this so we whole owe, we owe it all to your father. Then. This yeah, whole network, that. yeah. This whole network was born off of AfterBuzz, off of Breaking wow. Bad, and my dad's suggestion. So of course, this is the show I'm going to be most loyal to. Really, I have jumped in and hosted some Jersey Shore episodes, but my travel <laughs> schedule. Okay, will, so you uh, came in in season three, and you had to watch season one and two then. I I watched uh, every season last summer. Yeah. Okay. And I'm How telling you, how long did it take you to get through? Well, it? actually, it yeah, was. Yeah, because yeah, it was I got it done in like two months or yeah. something yeah. like crazy it short. Was, it goes yeah. like yeah. It was I had like, the same yeah. experience. I was doing like every night. I'd come home from whatever I did. I'd watch two episodes a night. Easy. Yeah. Sometimes three. Yeah. I was just getting yeah. to bed at like three in the morning. Yeah. I understand yeah. heroin yeah, exactly. adic- addiction now because <laughs> it was like yeah, it was like drugs to me. I'd stay up to like five in the morning and then have to be at work at nine. I'm like, what am I doing? But I couldn't get enough. Yeah. And I literally remember it. Um, I, I finished all the episodes <laughs> last July and I wanted to slit my wrists. I'm like, how am I going to wait I an entire wait. year? Yeah, they've made yeah. us wait a long time. They yes. sure have, yeah. And yet, and yet, you know, as we'll probably hear later, like just more people have come back. It's one of those rare, uh, rare uh, yeah, series really where mouth they're filled. gaining, gaining, exactly. gaining yeah, every yeah, yeah. season viewers. And that's... Pretty amazing. That has um, to be due to the fact unusual. that Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul always wipe out at the Emmys. Yeah, and three take in every, a row. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Cranston Scott for and best actor, mouth, and best supporting I guess. actor. I guess it proves that like word of mouth. Yeah, like, just they really people. let it build. They didn't really do anything. They just let word of mouth build. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, really anticipated. I think we've broken new ground <laughs> with this show. Uh, I think it's a testament to how good the show is. Yeah, they got the awards, but guess what? I'm not watching it because they got the awards. Yeah. I'm watching it because it's the best show I've ever seen. Yeah. But I use that when I pitch it to people. Mm-hmm. I'm always like, you've got to watch Breaking Bad. It's the best show on television. True. And then people are like, oh, yeah, everybody says that about Mad Men. Everybody says that about this and that. And yeah. I'm like, no, 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 really. And then I go, it's no coincidence that Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston always win at the Emmys. And yeah. then they're like... Yeah, yeah. And that kind of perks them up. So I use that it's as a true. selling that is point. Credit. That is credit. Yeah. But another thing to note is that 
all of the shows that we're talking about are from AMC, and I don't know what's in the water in those <laughs> yeah, buildings, but yeah. they cannot get it. They cannot get it wrong so far. Yeah, I mean, yeah, The yeah, Walking Dead too. as well, are the, you know, and and Mad Men, of course. And we're going to have to wait like thirteen months before you know season yep. five or whatever. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. Thank God I didn't. Not get only into they that. picking good, they're making good <laughs> You're gonna choices wait until the end, and then I you don't can get need into that it. pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but not only are they making good choices, they're letting them find the audience. They're letting that thing breathe, yeah. and they're letting them do almost anything they want. I mean, yeah. where in TV do you get a five minute scene where nothing is said? That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Vince Gilligan is so in control of it, and I. For from what it looks like they give him that control. They let yeah. really I talented just, showrunners yeah. do their thing. I mean, yeah. it's the same exactly. with The Killing, which is my favorite yes. episode, a uh, se- uh, series of this, like new this year. I was just in, in love with it, and we did some After Buzz shows for it. It's the same thing, allowing a really gifted showrunner mm-hmm. to, right. to, to like pursue and realize their vision. Right. Mm. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, you know, nothing clearer than that than how the show started this first episode, picking up exactly where exactly. it left off. As we see Jesse here on the screen in the uh, in the um, room here, just looking at Gail and, and having amazing. just shot him. Yeah, exactly. And you uh, just letting the actor work. Yeah, and like the whole the whole first it. half of this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really, the whole the whole episode it allowed so much breathing right. space. The pacing was the first thing I yeah, noticed. Yeah, I, I, I almost wanted to look at the script and go, how much dialogue they yeah. actually wrote it's in. Like this a thirty page, thirty page, exactly. Forty two minute it's one episode. Of the fittest, uh, no, sixty uh, shows of dialogue that I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, I was nervous in the beginning of the episode because yeah. it was it felt a little slow, and I'm like, come on, get to the good stuff. I'm like, I've been dying for this, and then. And then they were just let it build, man. Yeah, just they were like, no, yeah. like they forced no. us. They're just they forced us it, to work at being their pace. Stingy, I, I not giving us anything. It didn't matter to me that it was going slow because I was so shocked that Jesse actually killed Gail. The, I spent the whole thirteen months thinking, no way. Oh, he knew, you no, knew no, no, he no. did it. He, at the end, yeah. he moved the gun a little bit to the side, and I thought he chickened out. Okay. And then he's, you know, and, and Shut I, have, I have a question about this because I don't remember last year. Do you guys remember? Did Gail say when Jesse pointed the gun at him? Did he say something like, "You don't have to do this"? Yes, I think, so. I think he did. He did? Something okay, like that. okay. And where's Phil? Is Phil not even in, the, in, in <laughs> earshot in the here? Birth, no. Okay, he's got like a conspiracy theory that we'll talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna get to that. Okay, okay, so let's start off talking about Gail's death because obviously Jesse did pull the trigger. There mm. he is. I mean, yeah, right in the eyeball, yeah. too. Poor guy. And they, Just and they Osama gave us, Bin Laden-like. Right? It's not nice. The, the, what, what they choose to open and close their episodes with, with are always yeah, so always specific, and it was so nice having that little flashback yeah. to Gail mm-hmm. at the beginning um, where, where he uses the box cutters that come back yeah, later exactly. in the episode. Yeah. And seeing his... seeing, I love the way he talked about um, Walter's oh, he was so mixing enamored 99%. Of him. He was so... in. in in awe of that yeah. night. Okay, so I'm watching that and I'm like, I kept telling Kevin, I go, what is he doing? Is he crazy? <laughs> Why is he pitching Walt? He's, yeah. got, he's the got, job. got the job. He's got the the chicken job. man is happy with 96%. But he's a scientist. He realizes mm. how amazing the 99% okay. purity thing is. I think. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, so have, there is a conspiracy theory out there yeah. online that he right. perhaps was a DEA agent. That he's, he's trying to get Walt in the room so he can get the big guys, yeah. so he can get them prosecuted. But um, my, I have Gail I have, was a DEA. That's, yeah, what, yeah. that's what people are suggesting. How is getting Walt in the room going to help? Him? But here's the thing: well, because you need to bust that, everybody. Well, that's the guy that makes the blue meth. Nobody else does it. And, and you, he's you the know, guy to get. Yeah, he's the guy they want. Him and the, the chicken money man. guy's always the guy you, you got to get. get both of them. But here's what's interesting: is there's no reason. Like, okay, Kevin kept saying Maria. He's an amazing nerd. That's why <laughs> that's, he's just exactly he's so I, enamored point, yeah. with the fact that you know he makes not, uh, you know a hundred percent pure yeah. meth. And I'm like. Have. I'm like, he just pitched it too long and too much. There's just no reason to try to mm. give your amazing, high paid job to somebody else. Unless you're a dweeb. Well, yeah, yeah I'm not sure. I'm not, not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the money. Yeah. And I think, the, I think that there's two different possible motivators, uh, people with motivation there. The writers, they could have been just making us, because we see that scene before we find out that Gail's actually dead. Yeah. And what that did was that made me like Gail. I didn't really like him that much. I kind of felt sorry for him because he was a weird nerd and all this mm-hmm. stuff, and you know, and I had pity on him. But when I saw him being honest and saying, you know what, I'm good, but this guy is 3% better than me, <laughs> and, you know, and I just would rather have everybody be the best. You know, He yeah. just seemed like a Boy Scout there for a second, mm-hmm. and then we're all in love with him, and then he's dead. You know, so yeah. I felt like they point. set us they set us up to let us down, which is, you know, that would be the writers doing that, right? But here's here's what I think, and I'm gonna say this, and maybe it's a prediction or something, but 
since Gail said, uh, you don't have to do this, I think that there is a time lapse that possibly that we're, we're not privy to. And I think that maybe Gail and Jesse faked Gail's death. And I think that's why, no. yes, and I think that's <laughs> no. why he moved the gun, and that's why the pot has a hole in it, and that's, and No, yes, the pot went all, through his head and then yeah, hit the No, 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 I'm saying that he is DEA, and that that's all makeup, and they're doing the whole thing. Oh, yes. oh that'd be crazy. Yes, he's alive, right? And the assistant to the uh, to I think Gus, he's had to the some chicken of the man. product, I think that's yeah. all right. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah. the assistant to the chicken man was supposed to come in and see him there and look at him and go, Oh, the guy's dead. His brain's all So you all think the all ground. the cops there at the end, they were taking They're all in on it. <laughs> he says, Jesse, you don't have to do this. Okay. And then what we don't see is Jesse goes... So who, but who are they doing that for? Huh? Yeah, They're, I'm not... Because now, CSI remember, there for? remember, Jesse has always... How many times has Jesse tried to get Walt to go to witness protection? Dude, I'll go on the lam. I'll be all right. You got your family. Go into witness protection. Walt, that Jesse is now connected with the DEA and he's got the opportunity. But, just but, okay, wait. I just poked the biggest okay. hole in this. Okay, yeah. come on. Okay, when you see Jesse's face after he murdered yeah. him, I mean, that just there yeah. illustrates to you yeah. he did the most horrendous thing in the world. And he there's did. a turn and something's happened to I, Jesse. Yeah. That was interesting. He, he, that could have been done. You could have done that as a writer. It could have yeah, worked. could have done it, but, but I, I wouldn't buy all those cops at the yeah. end. Because actually, on the show like, for. in terms of the function of, of, of this episode for, for like the whole cast and their relationship, yeah. I feel like we see uh, the way that w Walt's decisions and uh, all of his actions have uh, affected those around him right. and how they are now starting to change too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is we see the whole Skylar, season for... Yeah. Like yeah. Skylar's performance now. Yeah, but what, her what's performance you... with, the, with, the, with, with the baby. With the baby. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's very God. simple, but right. she, she puts she's her so baby she's over. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's getting seduced into the world. She, so she does that super yeah. quick. Jesse, yeah. like that last conversation between the two of them in, in the restaurant. Yeah. Oh, man, he's... And Walt looks up and is like... He's like, what do you mean? I've created a monster. That's the thing. I hate it that Jesse had crossed over. That was the only pure thing left There's, between yeah, but, Walt and Jesse was that Jesse hadn't actually killed anybody. Yeah, yet. but that was the only thing but that left. sets up this whole season. That's whole season's. But you know what? At the end he's... of the day, he's also he was saving himself, right? Yeah, he was. Well, I he mean, could have ran. Well, yeah, he could have. He could have. Would have caught him up. He had to. They, do every it. chance he's given to, to run, he's always not done it. So. Yeah. It's just well, not in it. Yeah, he had well, a, what was that line he said? At least he knows we're on the same page. Yes, exactly. Um, that we'll either... If I can't we'll, kill you, I'm going to make you wish you, wish you were dead. dead. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get that. Wait, if I can't kill you, I remember, and then I got busy and didn't think about <clears> it I'll either again. kill you or you'll wish you were dead. Because, no, because saying, basically... If I, if I can't kill so you... So you're screwed. We're going to be... Gonna be get, we're going to, like, if we screw each other, we're, we're, they're prepared to do whatever it takes. Yeah. To to ruin, I mean, like like Gus's yeah. Gus's whole uh, operation was right. jeopardized that right. night, um, and that is why that guy was had his his um, throat slit. Is because yeah. he 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 was other seen. people saw him. At yeah. the, at he the, was a yeah. witness. And I, not only he that, was, but yeah. he was going to say, "All right, you think you you can kill? So can I? So I can oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, so it's like thing. we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll be so there. much trouble to you that you wish you were dead if we're not if we're not dead. So we're like exactly. and we're all prepared to kill each other. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go off the cliff together. But we all want the hands. money. Blaze of glory. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's it's funny when um, Gus's guy went down there. You knew when he, when Mike said, did oh, anyone yeah. see oh, yeah, you? Exactly. You knew he yeah. was as good yeah. as dead. I thought he was going to yeah. shoot him right there. Like, oh, I thought idiot. he said, well, I, I better get this yeah. over. But I thought he was going to turn when around he, and pop yes. him. Yes! And then, yes. And then actually yep. I really noticed watching it the second time today how much he, him trying to do all the cooking yeah. was really him going, I've got to prove my use. I've got to prove my use. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. right. I didn't think of that. Yeah, he gave him a little smirk when Gus came in. He smiles at him like, look, man, I can do it. You don't need these guys. We don't need Walt. I can do this. Isn't it amazing? He's like, Oh, he's not going to remember the aluminum. Yeah, I just know it. What an well, amazing yeah, sweating bullets nerd. too. Wait, wait, you're yeah. taking my job away. I just oh. got rid of this other guy. It was great. I, I I was bummed out at that because I thought, okay, that's it's way too early for Walt to be doing any kind of joking or levity. I mean, he knows that Jesse just killed the first person he's ever killed. He and wasn't joking. He was trying to prove his like he, why I'm better and he's a clown. Well, but who is he proving it to? No, Gus wasn't in the it's room. It's his ego. Walt's ego, yeah. get, like, is one of his yeah. like yeah, like, faults yeah, now. It's Especially it's now, yeah, that's like, what I thought it was. He's all like, about. I'm, I'm Heisenberg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just got rid of this. Other, I just killed this other guy. You can't step in for it's, me. It's ego and 
one of those guys could have killed him in the, any of those moments. They yeah. had the authority and the power, so he had to keep showing why he was so Which was, valuable. you know, I mean, and that was the the like the the uh, the way the tension was so beautifully drawn in that incredible yeah. scene that I think you already referenced, John, yeah. when Gus comes in and does not say a thing for something like uh, yeah, eight was, nine either. minutes, yeah. Yeah. and then and then. And then Walt has to pitch himself, pitch himself, pitch yeah, himself, yeah, exactly. pitch himself out of really pure fear. Yeah. And, yeah. and he just, I mean, God, Cranston's a master. And then a and then that, that sudden violent action that took us all by surprise. That you know, was I gotta the say, most when he amazing first murder. In, yeah, it was. Oh. But when he first walked in and started putting on the hazmat, I thought he was just going just gonna to show Walt. I'm gonna cook. I you thought know, he was I gonna cook too. No. I did too. Really? Oh, oh yeah, I, I thought he was gonna join with us. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Saw town. But, but wait a minute. I was but like saw seven. Yes. Because, because it was so it was so easy, and the obvious choice would be get on the hazmat and kill him, because right. that's what you would think would happen. So I was thinking, okay, they're gonna twist this around and 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 make him sweat some more by saying. I don't need you. I can cook myself. Yeah. I've been doing it way before you ever did, so right. I don't even need yeah. you. Now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Gus would do that. He would make them watch, and then yeah. and then try, and then of course you know they would get away some kind of yeah. way, you know, because they've got 12 more episodes to do. Just but the, but Gus only knows how to cook chicken. He, <laughs> he, he doesn't does. know how to cook meth. I he, knew blood was coming. I just didn't know it was gonna be. Oh, like I knew blood was coming I too. Know. I just thought and they he were knows how to be a sociopath. Rhythm. God, he is terrifying. Oh, he yes. has really I love the way he carved out that so beautifully. So perfect oh. with the shoes and the glasses. Oh, the detail. And the I'd noticed yeah, exactly like, the same thing. Oh, the way just, he shakes them exactly. off, places them on top. Yeah. Go, I mean, and then just they move the shoes slightly. After he after he brutally it, it was such a great scene, that yeah. murder. Oh, my God. I sound yeah. like a crazy person for yes. loving it, but I loved it. <laughs> um, oh, it was so gory. But at the end, when he went back and, okay, taking this off, let me wash my face. And I'm like, okay, they're going to cut away now. Oh, no, let me put the shirt on. Yep. Let me put my tie on. They my really just let it sit <gasps> yeah. there, man. It I was, was so amazing. appreciative of that. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. And, and so that. then when we heard his voice for that one line, yeah. get back to work, and you, I rem like, I, I remembered... I hadn't heard his voice in so yeah, long, exactly. and that particular accent that he has, uh, that kind of heightened, in educated thing. And I mean, the whole—I mean, the whole episode really—it was kind of like, wasn't it? Like you know, when you haven't seen one of your best friends in the world for two years, and <laughs> yeah. you meet them for a, for a beer or coffee, and you pick up like you <clears throat> never left off. Yeah. That's okay. what it well, felt. And like. I'm, and really wondering, I'm, curi this. I'm curious if they had any lines drawn. I mean, any lines written for that scene for Gus oh, at then all? They and they just decided, you know what? Don't say anything. Okay, cool. I'm just curious. Yeah, it'd be interesting to have been in the writer's room for that. Yeah, because they would have said, no, don't say a word until you leave. I feel he, like he they could didn't have need let, to say anything. He could have said no word. He could have just looked at them and then left. They would have, I would have been, even oh, more powerful. I would have my pants. Just yeah, like yeah. Too. Okay, I have a question about that scene. Because it's obvious, right? If he walks yeah. out and he's leaving them there, it's like, yeah, you guys get to work. You I, I would have let him, let his henchman say, all right, get to work. You know, because he didn't have to say a word. Okay, my question. this point. My question about the scene is, uh, what's up with Jesse's face right after Gus the Gus yeah. kill? Uh, I, Jesse, that's like, what like, I was he thinking. The same and he, thing. He's growling at him almost. You can't yes, hear it. Yes, you're right. Yeah. It's like you know, and I'm like, okay, that was a change. Jesse's sitting there, sitting there you know, solemn. Yeah, he thought right? he was and next. Walt is all that was like fight or flight. I think that I don't is think the seed. I think it was Go ahead. the seed of what he said to Walt later. Yes. That's what I think. That was yeah. him coming that's across exactly. him where he was like, you know what? I've done this. Killed. I'm okay with it. That's what I. This is the new turf. That's right. This is the new way that we. Whoa. That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking when he did that. He, I think he, he was like going forward. Yeah. Rather than be disgusted, he went forward. Yeah. That means he's not afraid of this. Yeah. He's, no, like, longer, he's no longer the Jesse that freaks yeah, he, out he about this stuff. He hates Gus for making him feel that way again, seeing more death. He Part hates Part of the his whole humanity thing. just left. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Then, I felt in the last scene, obviously, you know, he's such a good actor. He really showed that. I yeah. felt like he was an empty, he was like a stripper. Mm hmm. Dead inside. Yeah, right. Yeah, like <laughs> well, and again, he That's a line in our movie. Whole, That's a line in my, uh, our movie. I do yeah, not exactly. think strippers are dead inside. Yeah. I'm just, you know. Yeah, yeah no, great. but I mean, we're going to get letters. We, we were in compliance. You didn't have to but, retract no, that. We, but you know what I'm saying? It's a line in our <laughs> movie. Hey, I'm it's dead so inside, funny, and I'm like, not a stripper. Like strippers, they're no. dead inside. But no, I felt that at the end. Yeah. But my question is um, Mike is yeah. very interesting in this. Yeah. Because he's watching, he's, <laughs> he's watching. watching yeah. I think he was scared after. Oh, what he, he pulled saw. his gun. Oh, yeah. He pulled his gun when the knife went across. Oh, he pulled his gun. Oh, I don't remember the gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw this yesterday. He was like, oh, he wasn't expecting Gus, that. Gus I didn't see that too. scene again today, yeah. but I think, and then the fact that he helped them with right. the body, I feel like he's going to be on their side. Oh yeah. In this, I, I think, think, well, I think he realizes up. when he he's saw expendable that, too. Exactly. Oh yeah. I think he realizes as good as I am, and as much as this guy needs me. 
He'd cut my throat in a second. I think I think Mike is the dark figure that in the uh, the scenes from the next show where Walt says something like, uh, I, I want you to understand I didn't mean for anything to anything to, uh, like this to happen. I, know, I that, think Mike I is the dark figure. Did you? I, I just I, saw, it like, like I saw his me. ear and it looked like Gus. It, I thought it was Mike. I don't know. Yeah, no, I thought I thought it might be Mike. But it, I, I do love how uh, just how honest that kind of that mercenary relationship is. Yeah. That that yeah. that he and Walt are able to like just in the final episode of last season. Right. Gus yeah. is literally about to kill him. Walt talks yes. him out of it. Yeah. They, they have this relationship that's extremely frank and, and honest. And, yes. And Mike, he's the guy that put in his head no half measures. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that he, told him he the story. calls it back. He says, "You didn't think I was going to take measures, extreme measures." Yeah. He, Walt brings it back, so that's still part uh, of their well spotted. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's still part of their vernacular. Yeah. So it's Can we talk production design for a moment? Absolutely. Yeah. Because, I thought it was beautiful. I mean, this show to me is shot the green like nothing of else. That box cutter, the green knife that opening up, the, the uh, red floors, the it, stairway yeah. to hell. Yeah. Right when they're coming uh, down right. the stairs. Because when I think of when I think of the design of the last three seasons, yeah. It's it's green and yellow, right? Yellow yeah. of the desert, the sure. green of their des- of their title page, mm-hmm. um, something elemental about it. And there's also money in that green. Yeah, it's yeah, that's right. Money. And and all of the all of the 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 stuff in the desert has always had that cu- that grade on it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and this episode was really blue and red. Blue and red. And exactly. was, Walt's blue shirt was really Jesse's fun. red shirt when he exactly. kills the, the red the red floor, the blue yeah. light, the blue of the crystals. And did you notice the that chemicals the, in the and diner the at the end the uh, canopies over the lights were all red like the blood was still hanging over their right. heads. Ah, all of them over the restaurant. Yeah. And you would never Genius. see that in a restaurant. Yeah. No. And it was kind of interesting just just when the TV came on here, I just caught a glimpse of a couple of the the moments of the last episode of last season where right. Jesse and Walter talking. Remember they were in that uh, arcade store yes. with the jukeboxes? Yes, yes. yes. And it, there's this, there was this shot of Aaron of uh of of Jesse and it's just there's there's a uh, red light or blue light flashing on and off and there's red behind them. They obviously started the color design right. that entered in uh, the, you know, this episode it's at the end of last season. Right. I didn't pick yeah. up on it as much right. then. Because uh, so I was going to say, I always remember the blue. Yeah. I don't remember the right. green as much. Yeah. I guess the blue is, is the blue chemicals, mean? right? And the, yeah, uh, the, well, it's the blue the, ice. Of they the, ice, the whole yeah. thing and now they're keeping that thing going. It's interesting now they're doing that though. Yeah. You have those beautiful, that, that, the next scene that opened from commercial, the blood shots. Like oh, yeah, the racing trails of blood. And I started thinking two, Macbeth as yeah. well. I uh, thought was the thought two what? of them. I just yeah. started thinking oh. Macbeth with the blood, the amount oh, yeah, of blood yeah, on the yeah, floor exactly. and him washing his hands. I mean, yeah. you can't, it just, you always. It's it, all there. It, yeah. I don't know if that's deliberate. I mean, you just see well, blood and without, someone washing their yeah, hands of blood it, and you think Lady Macbeth. It's part of our DNA now, Macbeth. I mean, anytime you see that kind of stuff. I always wonder, like, people at home who are watching and if you're listening and you want to call in, I always wonder how much that plays into people at home watching because we know what production design is and means because we're in the business. I would have never known what production design was when I was back home in Boston yeah. watching this show. But I wonder how much, you know, people kind of know about that. Because yeah. to me, it's The good really thing is, is that when it's It'll good like this, and you, you even if you don't know specifically, it you feel yeah, it. You feel yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you yeah. can't not help it's but so feel something. It's I can visceral. say that I just felt it because I don't know anything about production there design. You go. So. Yeah. <laughs> right? No knowledge but of it. all yeah. of these colors and all of these things mean something. Just like the fact that they were both in Kenny Rogers shirts with yeah, white yeah. pants and uh-huh, the red uh-huh. shoes. Like, that was to me their uniform. They're now equal. They're on the same team. Jesse's got something on him. He's got something on them. They're wow. like square mm-hmm. huh. to me. Wow. And you're the writer in the group, so you know better than anybody, you know what what that uniform could have meant. But to me, it was like okay. One of my favorite bits of the whole episode was just the very last shot of you know Walt is there with Skylar, and he he's obviously exhausted. He's been up for yeah. 24 hours. But it reminded me again of some of those first times when he came back from some huge incident and had right. to say everything was fine. He was like, yeah, right, right, as, as, rain. right as rain. Obviously <laughs> not. Talk about and as he subtext. walks away, yeah. he plays with his pants, yeah. which still don't quite fit. Oh, yeah. they're too big. They're yeah. just what a bit is, well, too big. What was your take on the uniform, John, before well, we move on from uh, that? Well, that whole thing that well, it, it, we had all that bloodlust happening and then the cleanup. And then there's that catharsis. You hope that, okay, we're finally out of it. And so they're wearing these, well, when we first see them, they're just these bland, which there's, they're almost nondescript. So they're almost like a tabula rasa. What, what's the, what's going to happen next? And they're actually discussing what's our next move. So that's, to me, what it was. It was like, okay, blank slate. We're, we're all done with that, right? Everything's going to go back to normal. And we say, the first thing we find out is, no, it's not going back to normal because Jesse says, 
no. It's yeah. Not. And we see the turn of Jesse. So that's what it was to me is that we're trying to start clean. Like, we, <laughs> Plus they had that guy's happen. blood well, all over their other clothes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's that, that. <laughs> But why why they pick those uniforms? Yeah. Okay, that, well, that well, the red cons. The red cons is he got Converse shoes. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Weren't they so. green? They were red. They were red. They were yeah. red. So, okay. And then with the red of the, the light. And then those Converse shoes, I'm going, they can't get away from it. They, they okay. are, they, well, blood in, to toe. blood out. They, from, they are not going to get away. From a layman's perspective. And blood in, because yeah. the blood the shot ketchup. went into the ketchup, <laughs> yeah. and he's eating the yeah. blood. He's like, <laughs> I'm a vampire yeah. now. I want blood. Yeah. Yeah. From a layman's perspective, the uniform, my thought was, okay, I know they had to get the new clothes before they left the facility. So I'm thinking, where'd they get the clothes? And I immediately thought, well, their cover, the place overhead, is a laundry facility. So I guess they deal in, like, new clothes, and they wash them right before they go out. So I just figured that, you know, Mike went upstairs and grabbed whatever clothes were there, and that's why they didn't fit and threw them at Jesse and, and, yeah. and Walt. You know? Yeah, maybe. I, don't know, maybe. I mean, that's I think just... That's yeah. It's interesting. I mean, who knows? I mean, I would love to find out why they chose Kenny Rogers. Or this yeah. Year. I mean, I don't know about that. And what did the green knife mean? I think it was just because they were going in the, the that different palette, and that really showed up well against the red and the blues. And I also think it har- harkens back to their title page and, mm-hmm. all, and all, the, all the other greens that they've had throughout the seasons. But for well, me, more than anything, it was just you could not mistake that green of that box cutter. Don't yeah. forget that that was the same box cutter that Gail used to open every yeah. Yeah. all of the equipment. Exactly. Yeah. And so could it be that Gail chose that green box cutter? You know what I mean? Who, who knows? Yeah, yeah, you know. But for me, I think it was just because it, it popped so yeah. well against everything else. Yeah. How about when they were cleaning up and they were about to use the hydraulic acid on the body? And and Mike goes, you know, I've never done this before. Yeah, and then he's yeah. like, trust us. Yeah. 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 Well, and Mike's old school. He would be taking the guy out to the desert. Yeah. I mean. It's like, what are you guys but doing? Also, but but Walt responded us. to that as well. Walt, Walt <laughs> responded. His ears pricked up at Jesse using the word us. Like we oh, collectively mm-hmm. owning both of right. them, the the first murdering. Season. Because I mean, remember the, that to me harks back to that first season, yeah, that's where what, they have yeah. to get rid of the body in the bath, and the, yeah. this yeah. acid goes down. Us, you know, yeah, that's why they said it. Absolutely, it's uh, and that's why I be. think go back to the uniform. I think that's why they were a matching outfit. Yeah, they could be. Absolutely, yeah. they're on the same team. Well, they, you can see them coming because now that Jesse's killed, I mean, they're. You, I think that's you know He's b- not beyond a kid. the I think the practical story is true that that you know that you suggested and then but I think the meaning of it yeah, to us I think is exactly that, what you're saying yeah, as well yeah. I think it's all it, about the and same the whole time. the whole time um, Walt is saying look if you kill me you got no one to cook if you mess with Jesse you don't have me so he's already putting him on equal <laughs> yeah. sense so well because which, he knows which he Jesse him a solid. which Jesse we Jesse had that he, looked he heard at that yeah he heard he that heard looked that. and was like hmm. Well, yeah. now he has power because and I mean, he had it. to do that because Jesse just did him a solid and murdered a yeah. really nice person. Well, yeah, for but him. yeah, but he I also mean, killed his girlfriend that, and all sorts of yeah, things. Exactly. In but the, the week past. prior to that, he mowed down those two guys with his car. So, yeah, he I mean, also they're, saved Jesse's life, so they are kind yeah. of even. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's why it. they're they're I equal. Think so. that's I mean, right. same uniform. God, I just that that moment run. Exactly, that was amazing. Just extraordinary. And yeah, I can believe that. Of course, in all of the the you know this sort of. Intensity. Uh, yeah. it, it, it is easy to forget the the uh, the scenes with Hank. Yeah. Um, in this okay. episode that are kind of heartbreaking. Oh, wrenching and ah, brutal. Geez. And I mean, yeah. so typical of the show not to like not to shy away. I thought that was a more difficult scene than the the, the violent one, just because yeah. I saw it and I was just just I I literally said just shoot me now. If it ends up yeah. being me, shoot me now. Uh, yeah. the, the the bedpan. I mean, yeah. he's so humiliated. Exactly. He is so humiliated. I mean, here she is. This yeah. is her yeah. This, yeah. This She has moment. to steal yeah. herself. She has to prepare herself before she goes inside because she knows what she's going to be dealing with. It's, uh, yeah, it was Can done really well. And what do you think's behind these, the uh, these crystals that he's I, collecting? You know, I, this is interesting. some sort of diversion, but I can't exactly shoot. It's, I, it's definitely a hobby, I think. Yeah. Because he would be hiding it if it was something bad. Yeah, but, but it's, it's some sort of diversion, but I'm not exactly sure well, why minerals. Yeah, no, no, and, no, and no. there's something it's, about the rock crystal yeah. meth thing yeah. and minerals. There's a connection, like, obviously. Yeah, he's trying to understand. It? He's trying to get in and understand what a crystal is and everything about it. He's probably well, you just, think it's got to do with his draw? Like, oh, you think it's this something? dude is obsessed with the blue meth, period, end of story, and he's not... that's what got him in that bag. He is not going to be unobsessed with it until yeah. it's but, but done. But see, if it was about the crystal meth thing and, and he's that cognizant of it, I would think that he would be doing some work on actual crystal meth 
crystal meth yeah. and the making of it. Well, and, but as I mean, I don't know how much information can you find out about crystal meth on some, I mean, I some way, I'm some way it's DEA, related. Yeah, you think yeah. He, somewhere it's related. Yeah, he is not. How. He is obsessed. Period. He yeah. is. He's not. Yeah, but I don't know. get that he's obsessed. I think he's just pathetically pissed off because I'm stuck like this and I may be stuck like this for the rest of my life. I think it's just just a diversion rather than a, an obsession. Oh moment. no 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 no. He's he's got one thing on his mind and one thing only. Yeah, I think the only thing he's got on his mind is I'm stuck in this thing and I have to use this stupid bedpan as a shitter. No, but he made it clear he's like, I'm ordering more of those. Like he's been doing this. Yeah, yeah he's got yeah. him sitting on he's got him all like, sitting there. When we were watching I, it, I don't Kevin looked at you. me and I just he goes, disagree with him, his motivation. Yeah, yeah, Kevin looked at at him at me and he goes, That's where all the money's going. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> to the minerals. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't oh, why, I, yeah, okay. They needed more cost money, cost remember? More money. I don't know. I thought those no, were just they're only five bucks a pop yeah, on eBay. Bucks, yeah. Like yeah. when you saw them, they're just I mean, yeah, they're five bucks a pop. There's just it, it's just I'm well, sure that there's right something more to it. I look forward to finding out what yeah, exactly what it they're is. They're also right next to the pill bottles, which is interesting. Why the the crystals next to the pills? Okay. I don't know. So the no other idea. thing, you know, let's talk about Jesse um, and how um, cocky he was there. I mean, obviously, this is going to kind of become a problem. Mm. And that last scene, he really uh, like, kind of was just yeah. Well, yeah. setting and the they've, tone. They've got a few problems coming He's their eating. way. Just <laughs> no do want to hold off yeah. to Walt's like horrified, yeah. disgusted, can't eat, probably won't meal. eat for a week. This guy's yeah. just like taking and it down. And ask for more to drink. I mean, he's like, oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't get. See, now that makes me think that that Gail's not dead. That's why he can eat and all that stuff. Um, he's, he, no, it's, he's it's just become conspiracy. a cold blooded exactly. killer. Exactly. I that's think all. he's just losing. That's yeah. right. I think he's just become a cold blooded I think bad. because I think in general writing, the acceptance and stage? as an actor, that's where I'd want to take him. And then yeah. let's wait and see till, you know, I mean, the greatest thing about this show was here you had this nice, like, nerdy teacher, and then uh-huh. all of a sudden he's a badass drug lord, right? Yeah. yeah. What's going to happen when Skyler becomes more of an accomplice? Because yeah, be yeah, I'm looking you brought baby, up a great point. The whole thing. Yeah, and the question, and you know, I mean, we're, we're jumping ahead of bits of predictions, but the, does Jesse's, you know, net spiral down now? When does yeah. that start to collide with Waltz? Yeah. yeah. We'll right? get to yeah, the predictions. They'll, they'll, they'll be stingy about it. One thing I didn't quite understand, wanted some feedback on what you guys thought the drawer and the eye. Oh, okay, the, I, I, I remember that. I don't remember what that was Someone's about. It's, it's from, it, from the remember right? the pink the pink teddy bear that kept appearing in the in the um in the pool. Okay. Yeah. Remember yeah. the remember all yeah, those I scenes. Do, I do. It's, from the, it's from the it's from it's from the pink teddy to bear. Me, I think it's just a callback. Somebody's watching her. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay, the pink teddy bear is debris from the plane crash. Plane crash. Yeah. Plane crash. And yeah. so yeah. So and so the eyeball and the pink teddy bear. So he's Walt has kept the eyeball as, in my opinion, sort of a reminder of the plane crash. Okay, so I didn't remember the, about the teddy bear or yeah. pink dolls. All I could think of was that eyeball and Gail being shot in the eye. And I was going, well, oh, are they making some sort of connection? Yeah. What yeah. the? Well, I, didn't, I didn't at all remember, the, obviously, the yeah. pink doll. What, what was the significance of the plane crash again? Like that was Okay, uh, so the significance of the plane crash was the fact that when uh, Walt was faced with the decision of saving Jesse's girlfriend from choking or not, uh-huh. right. yeah, yeah, yeah. he decided to let her choke Die. on her yep. own vomit, yep. right? Yep. And then her father was so, the air traffic oh, controller right. that that's in right. his in his just Depression. despair, he just said, you know what, screw so, it. Let these I want these planes to crash. I'm just so. you know it was a reminder of his choice of the do. consequences right. of and, his actions. And Walt didn't know that until he was watching the news and he saw mm. that and then he re- remembered that that was also the guy that he ran into at the bar yeah. right yes. after. Yeah. Okay. And then the one of the scenes that uh, when I try to sell the show to everybody, I tell them the story of the plane, and then I describe to them the scene of Walt when he, in I think it was season, maybe the beginning of season three, where he was in front of the high school, and every all of the students were grieving because of the plane crash, mm-hmm. and only person in that room of hundreds of people that knew that he was responsible was Walt. Yeah. And they give him the microphone, and they say, yeah. what do you have to say, yeah. Mr. Mr. Isn't White? Isn't that amazing? That's I mean, and, and so what does he do? And he starts to say, well, you know what? Let's look on the bright side. Yeah. Oh, it was just so painful yeah. to convince you know, himself. But yeah. that's why. And so he's, I think he holds himself responsible for the whole thing. He sure. should. Yeah. You and know? I, think, I think also, like, for, for the... For the Creators and the writers, yeah. it's a nice just little callback yeah, to remind us of all that stuff. That it's just like those things. Those, the, you know, those kind of little eyes and. 
tw- trinkets. They just you, they get end up in drawers in your house, you yeah. know, and, right. and then there it is rolling, These looking, reminders. watching, yeah. what judging. Eye is yeah. it a judging <laughs> eye? I think there was more eye. to. I think there was more to Skylar's whole uh, uh, scenes, meaning um, when she heard that the car was still in the driveway. Yeah. I think Skylar has preparing, pre- been preparing herself for Walt to just disappear or come up dead, and I think that's what she thought. Not that she, you know, yeah, she's trying to move the car so that Junior didn't see, but she was also like, I'm going to move the car, I'm going to hide the key, and then I'm washing my hands. See, I got I got money, you know, I'm done. And and that was one of my questions to you guys is what was the significance of her moving the car? Because I, was just so I don't the think she could have thought yeah. that that fast that maybe he was dead. No, yeah. I think it was no, just it was no, because she didn't want to confuse the son. Yeah, the immediacy okay. of just making it not here, so my son won't have to. Yeah, the same way that his sister no. immediately See, thought. I don't buy that. that. Yeah, I don't buy that. I think that that was a part of it, but I think the main thing is that she has been mentally preparing herself for the fact that you know what could happen. Her being in this criminal, wor- this crime right. world now. Oh yeah, you know, self preservation. So she's, she's ready for anything. So I don't understand. Look at, well, what does moving the car have to do with it, though? I mean, okay. I agree with you because that she's, she didn't, she's worried. She didn't say she's anything that, to what, her sister who cares? when Move she it. asked, "Oh, you and Walt." She could have said, "No, we're not back together." Like yeah. she could have responded, and she didn't. Yeah, she's she's ready for anything that happens. She moves the car. She didn't have to answer any questions. Where's your husband? He left last night. Like she's not gonna have to answer questions. No, she's not gonna. Like her well, son's not gonna go. Want, what do you mean? He's she doesn't want to have to explain he herself to us to the son. They also, she also doesn't want uh, any of Walt's uh, professional accomplices looking for him to yeah. see that his cars at their house. I suppose. Right. Think about the yeah. different questions that she would have to be di- would be directed at her if the car is in her driveway. But the sister it's a totally is thing. going to totally be like within her rights to say something at, at the house if she goes and visits and says, "Oh, your dad's car." What mm-hmm. happened? Is he here? I heard he's here now. Oh, like, yeah. You know what I mean? So if she was trying to hide that fact, she would have said, don't say anything. I'm moving it. I don't want Junior to be upset. Like, she she didn't say any of that. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting. Mm. There's obviously. But she, she's I very think, interested in the whole thing because she calls Saul, which is why we haven't talked about Saul. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But Skyler, that right. kind of proves your but point. She she goes Skyler has always the been on the quiet phone. side. Skylar has always been the <laughs> chosen to be tight-lipped about stuff, especially yeah. when it comes to her sister. Yeah. Look at how long, how many yeah, she times just, she... Yeah, she's just, she's just not saying anything. That's just her style, I think. Yeah. Say, saying less Saul. is safer. Um, that was a great scene. Saul is I useless. I was, <laughs> was he, very disappointed in bugs. Saul. Was he, he's he's obsessed with bugs, yeah? yeah. he's checking he's, for he's bugs. He's paranoid. He's great. He doesn't come home. He's fine. He got a <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's carpool, and yeah. he's saving the environment. I like Grace. God, God oh, wait, hey, I didn't hear that last word. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chatty yeah. Kathy. That was amazing. Yeah, you broke, you broke up on the last role. part. Right. I'm just it waiting be, for them. He has such fun playing that thing. I man. just can't wait for them to buy the car wash as they're laundering money. Exactly. I'm just that's got. I'm sure that's got to come back. Oh, yeah. Anyway, well, shall we go to a I think we should go to break. We'll come back with our special segment. All right. Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yeah. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. This television and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's and Shakespearean. You never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy... Nucky is a villain. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. Four, two, four, two, I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig no, will come no. out that wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. And we're, and we're back. back. There it is. <clears throat> Well, oh, that's nasty. That's that great music. I was just trying to tweet out the phone number to have people call in, but I don't really remember it. I think we need to write it down on the. Hey, Jesse, you want to give us that phone number for us? 424 256 1729. Yeah, baby. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. so special, special segment. segment. We had 13 months off of Breaking Bad. Right. Did this meet your expectations? We're going to start with you, John. It did, but I still don't <laughs> agree with the 13 months off. I don't care. I, it was just too damn long for me. Right, me I too. Like I that. don't like the long. I don't time like off. that. Mm. It, you know, I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what the reasons were. I didn't. I didn't check into that. But it's too damn long. I wonder how long it can't take that long to shoot a new season. But you no, know, it these didn't, are I, yeah. geniusly written and done shows. <laughs> yeah. So it's not. They're not. 
you know, turning over crap, so it must take a long time to come well, up with yeah, I mean, the thing is that they, that are genius it, the way that they write this show, they actually uh, have very much been making it up as they go along. They have yeah. no, like, you know... Yeah, you mean, think so? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, no, they they, didn't, they, yeah. Jesse was only supposed to be there for the first four episodes. They were, he, were gonna, he was going to be yeah. dead. I, so, I, I mean, don't know who I was talking to just the other day, but they were like, I think Vince Gilligan knows exactly where this is going by the mm. end of this. I think that's really... Really nice of you to say. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know why it took so long? Uh, I, I, I gotta get the I recall yeah, reading I didn't something about it. I recall reading out. something about it, but I think they, they just wanted to take some time off. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they really didn't know where the next season was going to go. Yeah, I bet you so they, they didn't they have an arc take, figured out. Not so at all. They, so they yeah. wanted to take some time to make sure they got it right. Yeah. And then I think there was some scheduling stuff within AMC mm-hmm. and, oh, right. and yeah, other commitments, other perhaps, of actors good. and whatever that made it, uh, made, made it kind of just sensible for them to give them the breathing space that they wanted to have a good break and then come back and really make sure they nailed it, which I think they probably did. I, I mean, I, I, sort I of, think so. I really, well, based on this, certainly. Yeah. I, I mean, but I see, can't. here's the problem is, and this was the debate. Now, obviously I told Poor you thing. breaking bad was born. <laughs> right. I mean, after buzz was born because of breaking bad. Yes. So here's a dilemma I had. And I remember, I think I told you guys yes. too, via email. I'm like, I think I just want to wait till the season's over and watch them all at uh, once and not do after buzz shows for it because I can't yeah. wait six more days. <laughs> yeah. It really is a problem. Well, look, yeah. you've got connections. They're already and, filming like episode 10. And PS. Okay. So I got into Dexter after this uh-huh. was over yeah. and I finished Dexter. Dexter and I gotta wait another year for that. I want to kill myself. I heard that one was good too. Oh, it was, it oh I love Dexter. Love it is, it is, I have a love no. hate relationship. Okay. Just check it. Primo number one. I saw Jennifer Carpenter at the MTV Gift Suites right. that we broadcast after yeah. us from, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with your show. Okay, Breaking <laughs> Bad's number one, but you guys are number two. But I'm secondly obsessed with you guys. And she was like, all right, she's like, I love that show. It is kind of nice to know. It is like on a week to week basis when it's all happening to know that you've got that Sunday night. Yeah. Thing. I mean, with like as much uh, as it's like it's pleasure yeah. and pain. It is. But to have that all going on, like or like. Yeah, it's good. And may yeah. I give a great plug to AfterBuzz TV because I can't think of a more fun way to watch this than with you guys <laughs> yeah. and then coming in here and being able to talk about it. That's why we started oh, yeah. this is because there's nowhere to talk about these shows. Right. You can only tweet and, you know, do that so like much. Blog. Message right. board or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I, you know, I, you guys at home <laughs> have the opportunity to call in and do this with us. You can call in and discuss Right along with us, and give I love your the opinions. Because I, I, there are things that you guys see that I, I don't see, but yeah. then when you say, "Oh, that's what that," yeah. oh, I love that stuff. I yeah, love that it's stuff. so it's, much. It fun. makes you really enjoy it on a whole nother level, right? Yes. I think so. I love yes. that. Oh, like you so were just excited. talking about production value. I mean, I'm telling you, the next time you see it, you're going to start to notice those things, and you're going to go. These guys are awesome. Well, and their shots, the way they oh, shoot yeah, them. Yeah. The when they got the shot aerial of the shots. stairs yeah. when he was walking, Wasn't that nice? he saw his yeah. feet. They had from underneath, and they went when he was walking into yeah. the scene and they were above. I just thought yeah. that was a well choreographed. Before the murder. Oh, he yeah. I think that over. thing was great. Yeah. Well, here, and here he is. He's about to. Here's all that blue we were talking about. And then the yellow, yellow in the background. And you got the red. I mean, By the way, is it a coincidence we have the same colors going on in here? <laughs> blue all <laughs> yeah. red. Jesse yeah, just changed yeah, the green. Yeah, yeah. This was See, green earlier. Yellow. <laughs> some yellow and stuff like that. Uh, I was going to say. Now, here's oh, the other thing about Jesse oh. that was interesting is after the murder, mm. you know, I know he crept forward, but but afterwards, he was leaning back super comfortable. And I was like, oh, it's a little too comfortable, I think. Uh, there was one There was one other was shot that I shot. noted that I loved was when Scarlett went to move the car that we were just talking, that scene yeah. we were talking uh-huh. about. When they, the wide shot as you saw oh, her the, pull in, you've just the got the basketball. That's the same, yeah, I was I mean, saying why, the same why, one. Why, why put that there? I don't know, except yeah. to show you scope and well, scale. And, I mean, and it, also, I, mean, I think, to like, I mean, I think it, it kind of highlights the what she's doing. They're in yeah. the middle of suburbia yeah. with yeah. children, exactly. and she doesn't want to bring, invite <laughs> invite any more Un- into a house with her this. son there than yeah, she exactly. needs to. Yeah, you know, but it's just like to 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 make that choice rather yeah. than just a wide on the yeah, edge of the gutter you could have easily with the done car that coming. Shot. You you give yeah. it. I mean, it's also good shot it's composition. Great, exactly. It gives it balance. Yeah, you know, like but uh, it was but, thoughtful. You could see it was thoughtful. Yeah. Agreed. And there it is. Bang. Okay. Gone. Yes, oh, this is so go. amazing. And you know what? Brian Cranston's performance made it even more amazing. Because look at him. I know. Look at the hand he, crawling up. He's horrified. I mean, this is the most amazing I thought scene. Gus was amazing in this, too. Because he, look, he's looking at yeah, yeah. Walt the entire time. He's just saying, 
is just takes it to them. He's just he's just fearless and brutal and now yeah. watch. I can't wait and to then see. Drops him at, at Walt's feet. And you guys know specifically. You guys know that he that Gus was specifically holding him so the blood squirted yeah. on Jesse. Oh and really? That's why yeah. he was holding. Walt, Walt's that's why almost vomiting like yeah. that. Holds See, the down. bloods went See, all the way across. Look at that face. This right guy is amazing. Just the right acting on this show. Yeah. We've been forward. talking about so much. He comes right forward. He he's forward. growling. He's, yeah. on, he's not scared. Okay, you want to scare me? I'm not scared. I just, oh, the acting on this show is so insane. That's, uh, Gus is Giancarlo Esposito, and he's yeah. a very seasoned actor. He's been in oh, lots yeah, been and in lots and lots of movies and done really well in everything I've seen him in. Really? Uh, this, this is, uh, this, uh, this character is my first like relationship with him as an actor, not like too. knowingly, really? Never and knew I just before. it's just been thrilling. One of the most one of his. Look at the blood yeah, all yeah. over his face. That's great. Oh. If, you, if you guys see on, on DVD, uh, uh, there's a movie called Fresh, a uh, mm -hmm. very very good movie. He plays uh, he actually plays a, a drug dealer, mm -hmm. um, and he played one of the one of the guys that was uh, that killed Malcolm X in the movie Malcolm X. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Um, and, but he's been shot. in just countless things, the and he's, he's awesome. Yeah. So, call back of the shall we go to news and gossip? Yeah, anybody yeah. else had a feeling about the 13 months real quick? I know kind of monopolized oh, yeah. part of it. You know what? This show, the episode was so good. I'm, I'm completely okay satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. And when they're when they're filling the interim with new shows like The Killing and Walking Dead, oh yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm that's okay. Okay I too, saw that ad and I was like, you know what? I might try Walking Dead. You know, Kevin you, said you, it was he, good. It's the, it's only the first season is only six episodes. I was I've never been a, like a zombie guy, yeah. but it's not a zombie. It's not a zombie. Don't think of it like that. Really? It is okay. just. Why did they show us zombies then? Well, because that's what it is. Think I Danny know, Boyle. Like, oh, think if you ever saw Twenty Eight Days uh, Later, the yeah, Danny Boyle. Yeah. The like. It's about it's about hu humans being human existence being like threatened yeah, and yeah. how people respond to it. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's just it's really it just good. Some great zombies, actors. But it's about the people okay, and like their forces. how good? Like where is it on your list? <laughs> it's, What's, uh, okay, uh, Breaking Bad's uh, one. Uh, I I don't like to rank my number my my number th my. Th he has it okay. in the top ten. Like yeah. To me, Breaking Bad one, Dexter number two, and then from there it's all kind of a mishmash. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, I was is it I in was your seriously, top five? Uh, it's in my top ten. Okay. It's definitely all I'm saying is you can you can knock it off in a weekend. Okay. The yeah, first episode. Top first ten season. is good because right now we yeah. are living in, and this is why After Buzz TV is coming in at a great time. Yeah. We are best living TV. in a time where the best television yeah. ever. Well, better than film. Yeah. It's yes. all the great uh, yes. talents are going to I TV. Don't, I they get definitely don't see as many movies as I watch right. TV shows now. Well, now it's no longer like considered a, a bad thing for right. you to be an actress or an actor and do a cable extended mm -hmm. channel series well, or movie. It's like, actually becoming more. Yeah. I mean, you've I got really new like, series coming out with yeah. Claire Danes, Don Cheadle. Exactly. I mean, yeah. the names What about of the, the movies that are made for key, for cable channels? I mean, there's big actors right. and actresses doing that stuff now. Well, they give they give a TV show a much better chance of finding an audience than they ever because it can't in a film you have to get your audience within the first couple of hours and the hour. detail just everything. becomes different yeah. you're dealing with 13 hours a season yeah, exactly. rather than two hours in a film it allows you to just to dig deeper exactly you know and, and thank god there are and channels actors want to and writers want to so. yeah and it gives them more regular work exactly all right news all right. and gossip right. news and gossip boom <laughs> So Jihan, Carlo Esposito, best known for recently slicing an associate's throat open with a box cutter on the aforementioned Amy's AMC drama, has signed to one of TV's most unusual fall pilots. The actor will recur on Once Upon a Time, the fairy tale based series that stars Jennifer Morrison and Jennifer Goodwin, and takes place in a fictional story book. Esposito will portray the mirror trapped vis visage who offers advice to the evil queen in one world and a local reporter in another. Oh, he's the man in the mirror. He's the man in the yeah, mirror. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure he'll be great. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about the show. Does anybody anything I'm going to be it? like, watch out, the man in the mirror is going to be ready to kill you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, I haven't heard nothing of the show, so I don't know. Yeah, it was one of it's one of the like pilots this year that ABC are doing, and it's there's like a magical um, uh, little town in which people are it, 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 modern day, but then also have these roles in like a, a parallel universe where oh. it's all like Snow White and Magic Mirror and Evil Queen, and the same actors are the, are these represent different people in in each parallel universe. I can't recall exactly how the two universes meet, but I read part of the pilot. It's obviously it's you know it's ABC Family, I think, so it's got like a a magical you know teen tween market, and to it's it. called Once Upon a Time. Yeah, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it draws on all sorts of, like, fairy tales. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, in the okay. way that Shrek does, I guess. But it's obviously okay. live action. Onward. So Breaking Bad posted its highest ratings ever in its return last night. The fourth season premiere of the series drew 2.6 million viewers. Woohoo! Up 30% from season three's premiere in March 2010. Nope. I think that's because I tweeted so much about it. It's me! <laughs> that's, that's why I watched it. Right, there you go. Wait, I did! I told you! I've turned so many people onto this show, actually. I turned, um, oh, so many people. It's also up 1.45 million in adults, 18 to 49, which is up 26% of last year. Breaking Bad marked AMC's second highest rating season premiere ever behind last year's series debut of The Walking oh, Dead. Walking there you Dead. Go. There you go. Yeah, just spoken. There you go. All right, and that's your After Buzz TV uh, Breaking Bad news and gossip for the week of July 18th. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. I hey, guess thanks, I Jesse. think I must oversell then. You're a better salesperson than I am oh my because God, I sell what I what I get in response to when I try to sell Breaking Bad is, you know, I, I start with it's the greatest show ever. Me too. <laughs> right? But then they go, Nah, I don't I think know. so. Is it as good as The Wire? Is it as good as this? Yeah. And, and I'm like, Yeah. And I'm like, Okay, well, I just think it's the greatest. I, show I, don't ever, give up on them. I have thing, Twitter followers yeah. who are starting to watch it now. The Steamer, I know you're listening. Yeah, you the should Steamer. be calling in. I, I, Why isn't he called in? I'm so disappointed. I replied to the Steamer's thing, okay? And I said, greatest show ever. He goes, yeah, that's the guy that said, oh, yeah, right, not as good as The Wire. He's, like, already doubting me. I, I, ruined, nah. I killed your sale. I know he watched yeah. it. I know he's trying to get into it. Um, my best friend just bought the collection. She's flying to Africa. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm going to be watching it on all my flights and stuff. So... Um, you, I just tell people, get, give it two shows. Yeah, I always say get naive. through the first one because yeah. the first one was a little slow at first, yeah. but then after that, you're give hooked. And shows, if I'm man. hooked, yeah. well, <laughs> I have good taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, what's happening What with predictions? predictions? Let's do some predictions. Okay, what's okay I got lots of these. Okay. I volunteer. Oh, All right, off you right, go. go for it. Ed, go for it. Okay. So, uh, you know... There's obvious predictions because we saw the next episode stuff, right? So we see what's going to happen. But the thing that I am just completely stressed out about, about how they're going to deal with this, is the fact that we've got these really powerful relationships. We've got Walt and Jesse. We've got now Walt and Mike building their thing, right? And even though it's antagonistic, Gus, that's a relationship he has. And then Hank. And these they're, they're related. That's brother-in-law, right? The secrets that exist that haven't been revealed, to me, will obliterate all of these things, especially the Jesse thing. Jesse, has he's still got to be bitter because if you remember when he got beat up by Hank and he was in the bed, in the, in the hospital bed, and he told Walt, he goes, no, he goes, uh, he goes you're the reason why I don't want to cook. And it's because I because every ever since you came into my life, everything I love has been lost. And he was so, he was like, he hated Walt more than anything. And then a few minutes later, he calls him and says, 50-50? Okay, I'm in. Right? And I think he's still got to be bitter. But wait till he finds out that Walt let his girlfriend die. Wait till he will finds that Will that ever that come out. up? You think that will oh, come yeah, up? Yeah, definitely. They, if they don't let us, <laughs> I'm going to feel like they did, they treated us when uh, the episode of uh, Season of Lost when they didn't explain everything away. Right. If they don't do that, you they know, will. there's no good. way. Yeah, it's too good. Exactly. Yeah. It's the best show to do. Yeah, it's but, too meaty. Yeah, it's how, but, yeah, how can you okay. not? Yeah. How, how, how and why Hank got hurt, right? Because of, of the relationship with mm -hmm. Gus, right? It was to yeah. save Walt. But, but even worse is when Hank finds out that Walt made the call to Saul to have his assistant call and pretend that his wife was sick and he had to run to the hospital. Do you remember how mad he was? Uh I my my so my predictions have to do with I do not that was such a great scene. I'm completely like <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't yeah I'm like how are you gonna do it? you're gonna ruin everything the what the one everything. thing that the but one that's thing what's that amazing. Yeah. they've built up so many yes. crazy yeah. like it's hard it's hard to to talk at, you know beyond generalizations really sure, but yeah. what you can be certain of yeah there is the blood on the on the red uh, but is that for it to come for the stuff to come out you know into the open. The stakes are going to have to be really high. You know that they will have like turned up the temperature yeah. so substantially <laughs> that we're going to be watching something that is going to be so intense yeah. that it that it allows that it provides a context in which 
uh, Walt has to tell him, in yeah. which he cannot keep it in anymore, yeah. which means that whatever it is, I want to be watching. Yeah. 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 Look, remember, he yeah. almost told him already. Remember when he was on the sleeping yes. pills and he was, yeah. he almost told him. Mm. I, I can't deal know with it. I can't. How long do Walt and Jesse have in this situation? <sighs> because as Walt said, and he's being smart, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. I, I think that they could. In, and depending. Jesse's cockiness could hurt that. It's, well, like, yeah, definitely it's their expendability hurt. versus um, them getting like uh, control over their self preservation, you know, yeah. it, it, within the world. So at what point do they go out, do they go out on their own? Yeah, because that's really just, their next you know, logical gun up exactly. and protect themselves. They've the just got to start killing people. Kill Gus and take over on their own. You know, they, they've they, just got to start killing. That's one way they could go. Gus already killed Gus all the people over him, right? I mean, most of the significant people that would have protected him. I mean, who's protecting Gus? Why isn't all somebody the, just kill all the Gus? people that he pays? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's money. Gus money is, is yeah. the scary. ultimate. Yeah. That's why they have to keep. But that's why with Mike on their side, that's why they're going to yeah, be able Mike to take is right out there. Gus. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that Mike is is uh, is like yeah. you could say. I mean, I th- no, I th- he's going to be. Though. I think he's going to build to be on their side. You think? Yeah, yeah he's going to inherit this huge eight million dollars. You know, black. I, I think, I think here's ultimately the thing about Gus will go where the money pays him to go. I think he's a mercenary. He's a Mike. Mike, I'm sorry. He's a mercenary. He's so, going to realize, because as all mercenaries do, he's when, realize, when the time comes for right. Walt to, to take over and become the <laughs> king, yeah. Mike will be there. Wait a, a minute. Wait a minute. What does Mike want with money? The guy's got one foot in the grave. <laughs> he used to be a cop. He's now he that's, hates himself and his life. But that's why he's he got, does this whole thing. No, he's not doing There's some other reason. He's not doing it for money. He's, he's a doing mercenary. It for that's else. it. It's like he's addicted. Yes, he's he has his own yeah. addiction, and that's this, this job. This is just his but it's just he goes so wherever he's paid like to be to go. That's what mercenaries yeah. do. It's just I, his life. I think that he's he's, he's with Gus. Be, same reason why <laughs> Walt respects Gus. There's because he is a man of precision, and he knows where he stands with Gus. And yeah, uh, I don't think that he knows that now. <laughs> <laughs> I think he At knows all. still. He's terrified. Yeah, but I think you're right. It? That's why he likes right? working I mean, for him because yeah. he's, oh, the, best. He's, the, the, he's the, the best. He knows yeah. what he, where he stands with the guy. Sure. Yeah. You know, he knew. I think he knew that. I don't know why he he was so shocked and he pulled his gun because he really it really That's was what like I'm saying. he was I don't shocked. Think he, he was shocked. When, I don't what, think he knew that. But I don't. Just to see him go for one of one of their own. Dead, but he didn't think it was going to happen right then. Okay. Because normally, I'm guessing he would have had Mike do it. I think it just really shocked him to, mm. to have him do it. I feel like Mike will kill thing, The other thing to, out, yeah. to really like in terms of immediate predictions is um, how much hot water uh, Gail having his lab notes yes. is yeah. going to get them. Yeah, that'll be the point. That's, 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 like, that's like that an immediate concern. Because yeah. they're going to see all the information about the 99% and, and whoever or however that's going to tie it back. It just matter. depends what's in there and how exactly. how soon does that information get to um, to Hank? It's and I love no. that we don't gonna know get what's in there. No, so no, just... no, it doesn't matter what's in the book because everybody in the room's in on it. Gail's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and then and then so, okay. um, the other thing is is okay. So and this goes back to you. Once like Pandora's box is open and everything yeah. comes out, <sighs> is is Dude, Walt, it's all over? I wonder is Walt gonna start thinking because he's already thinking in this scene. What are we gonna do next? Is he gonna think about how do I? tell them without telling them to relocate them because his biggest yeah. fear is his family being hurt yeah, by all of this right because he knows everything he's done leading up to this has hurt his family and everyone right. around him so he's got to be planning a relocation for them so he yeah. can just go and do his thing and not worry about them uh, he's going to plan to kill everybody that can and in a way that will, will not come back to him and so he can go back to his life with his money but I think what sucks is that he can't recover from the fact that in the beginning before it got up to the part where Skyler had sex with her boss before that he had done everything to help his family when he decided to go back to dealing drugs because his wife slept with that guy that's when his motivation became impure that's when he now you got no excuse dude you brought all this heat back on everybody and got getting all these people killed why because you got pissed off because your wife I, I feel you. like I feel I think that that's that's all 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 100% true I do feel feel that there's been another just element or layer running concurrent to that for Walt the whole time and it this I think there's something very Shakespearean about with you know about him yeah. and yeah. and with all to uh, be or not to be all that <laughs> stuff like but all to of, be a all drug of Shakespeare's or not to be a drug. The, the, the fatal flaw like you know yeah. I mean you, when you talk about Shakespearean characters you talk yeah. about what like their fatal flaw it's an argument that brings them down and the Walt the Walt, Walt's Walt is too proud 
Sometimes yeah. his ego makes him too proud and the, the, his hurt pride over yeah. not making millions yep. as his mate did. As and his that friend kind of, did. Whole, and then, and then as soon as... Yeah, and now his he is attachment, money. Then his attachment that I think starts coming in early when he start, when he buys the yeah, hat, the hat and he gets the, the and glasses and he, and he starts to kind of go, actually, I kind of like this. Yeah, he's felt attachment Everything he wanted. And then the pride about his work that there's this other element that that has at sometimes led him astray and turned him, uh, you know, make, made him make decisions that weren't always in Jesse's best mm-hmm. interest, not so much uh, with, the, with the, the girlfriend stuff, but just times where he's like, no, nah, you know what, I, I'm in charge. Right. I'm doing this. You know, like that sense of power yeah. that has turned because he was him on. Well, yeah, before. Because, well, he was, yeah, at the, <laughs> same, yeah. Like, at the yeah. same time that his wife cheated on him, he, that's also when Jesse th- you know, threw in his lap, hey, here's the meth I made. Right, and he's all, you call this meth? That's and so, right, yeah, there's right. his ego. That's right. And, and exactly. remember, he also, then he leaned in and tried to kiss the assistant principal or whatever, and then, and then the next scene, he's walking out with his boxes, and he's, yeah, you right. know, he's all, what, you get fired? Yeah. Jesse says, well, oh, that's yeah. a leave so of absence. So here's the red. Look at all the red cans. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's well spot. And the chairs as and well. The chairs. I don't know. Bad. Yeah, when would you see that? And look, these are clear, the yellow or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they when probably did that. When would you see that in a restaurant? They, yeah. they yeah. bought those things. I don't know. And, uh, well, oh, and so, coming off the red. The red shoes. One, one other and one other prediction question I had was uh, about. Okay, but wait. But speaking of Walt, who does he say? Just put me in a room. That's what I was about to say. Who yes, is, who it's, is that? It's who Gus. Who is he doing? You it's think Gus. he's Gus? Wait, wait, wait. Put me what in a room with him, and I'll do the Put me in a room with them, and I'll do the rest. That's what he says in, in the, the flashes of next, next week. Walt says that. Walt yeah. says that. But who's he that. saying it about? You he's think tell- it's Gus? He's telling Mike to put him in a room with Gus. I, I, I think there's something. I think we're going to. I think next episode we need. There's going to be a new element involved, an element that's got to like be the a trajectory for this season. Yeah, I think and that's I have right. a feeling it's going to be. I, I don't know. I, I think we may not know who it is. What yet. if it's uh, about Hank? Could be about Hank, but it also could be about Jesse. If Jesse's going off on the deep what end, do you mean? Oh, I think he's yeah, going to well, do something. With, well, yeah, not that he's necessarily. I, just think, I think that I think that at this point, Walt can be in a room with Jesse or Hank or even Gus potentially, yeah. without it being that much of an issue. I don't yeah. think it's going to be Gus. I think it's someone I think it's we Hank don't know. Or Jesse. I, I think, think it could be Hank because know. Hank's obviously going through a tough time. The yeah. sister could come through, come and ask like, "I need your help," or maybe she they find something out or whatever, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Put me in a room with them. I'll do the rest." Oh, you think it might not be about killing? No, I felt like, but I felt like it was a room he can't get into <clears> on his own. Oh, like yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah, right. I, I don't remember seeing that, to yeah, be honest. Right. So it's it hard for me, me to remember. He seemed desperate, um, and I think he was holding a gun. Yeah, one well, thing, one well, thing, well, later on, we saw him. Just, yeah. just the next scene, yeah, he has It a felt gun. linked to me in yeah. the way that they'd cut it. I don't know if that was mislead. Yeah, if that yeah, was a mislead, be, as yeah, they yeah, often sometimes do. I was watching I was watching Brian Cranston on... that walk away you were talking about. Oh, yeah. The pants still don't quite fit. I just think that's good. He's still uncomfortable in his new uniform. Yeah, that's right. It just still... Doesn't quite fit him. It's kind of it's lovely. There's just still a walking away from his house, his home. They just they always like bring him down to like yeah, to a yeah. ground level. The pathetic it's look just, on his face. Yeah, and then this great last scene of there's the phone as well that they've been calling him on that yeah, they were calling yeah. him on. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm pretty sure they're able to decode those. After, yeah, but they just, those they, are burners. They, they destroy be... destroy all of that yeah. stuff, but. Um, Wasn't anyway. that great? The w- the way they revealed the tea kettle with the water and everything. I thought that was cool too. It was lovely, wasn't it? And then there it is, the lab notes. Dun, dun, dun. I thought that was kind of funny that he would have it so obvious on there, like lab notes. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they showed it in the first scene uh, when when he when he said, "I analyzed the blue meth." He took it off of that same book, but yeah, it is a bit in your face right there. Yeah, like, I don't know dude, if that's for a reason. Yeah, dude, you're you're a what? drug manufacturer. Do you really have it on the coffee table? Exactly. Well, well here's the thing: it could just be they could just be numbers. Huh? It might not say crystal meth. It might have just said 99% pure. Oh, it might they're going to know. What it was. <laughs> they're going to know. So, I'm so excited for next episode. Except yeah. for the fact that it doesn't matter because everybody's in on it and gives <laughs> <Yeah>. a lot. <laughs> oh I project gosh. that one. I'm just be saying. True. Yeah, all that's right. my preach too. All well, right. Listen. <laughs> very, very excited to be with all of you today. Yes. Thank yes, you much. Thanks, guys. I hope everyone who tuned in enjoyed it. Um, call in. Call in next week. Get your, take notes during that's the right. episode. And, right. and call in with your opinions and your questions. We want to hear from you. Um, and uh, thanks for joining us. There you go. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. 
If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz you later. Buzz you later. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.